Four people have been charged with carrying out an attack at a Moscow concert hall this past Friday. The death toll from that shooting spree, claimed by an affiliate of the Islamic State group, has risen to 137. Russian officials have also detained seven people suspected of involvement while attempting to tie the attack to Ukraine. For more on this story, we can go across uh, to our former Russia correspondent Nick Holdsworth. Uh, Nick, good afternoon. Kyiv has denied any involvement in this attack. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, yet Russian officials are leaving the door open for doubt. Why is that? It's, it's part of the general narrative connected to the war in Ukraine. In a way, this tragic event on Friday night is an opportunity for the Kremlin to tie some blame to Ukraine, to whip up more public support for perhaps an escalation in the war in Ukraine, and, and to very firmly pin the blame somehow on the West. We, we have the uh, Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova writing an article in, in a popular tabloid today calling into question U.S. assertions that Islamic State was behind the attack. Uh, she reminds readers that Washington supported Mujahideen, uh, the Islamic Mujahideen in uh, Afghanistan in the 1980s when Russia was trying to uh, fight a war against them. And she, basically, the narrative is trying to link somehow the West and Ukraine to this attack in order to bolster what Putin sees as the necessary support of the public in Russia for the war in Ukraine. Nick, we have been seeing images of these men that have been charged with cuts on their faces, bruises being dragged, uh, reports of even one attacker having his ear cut off uh, and his ear being kept in his mouth. What's the state of these suspects and why is Russia showing all, us, uh, all of this? Well, clearly from the uh, footage was seen of the suspects being taken into court yesterday and charged with terrorism offences, they've all been badly beaten. It, it, it seems fairly clear that they weren't in that state when they left Croker City Hall on Friday evening. And when they were arrested, there's video footage on multiple sites on the Russian uh, social media showing security forces beating those men. In one case, we, we, we see a, a man in paramilitary garb, leaning over and cutting the ear off one of the suspects and then trying to force it into his mouth. Uh, now, some sites uh, on Russian social media have, have said that that man was wearing a uniform with insignia that connected him to neo-Nazi groups, which is intriguing, given that the Kremlin's narrative about Ukraine is that it's the Ukrainians who are the neo-Nazis. So it's fairly clear that they've all been badly beaten. And as to why these videos have been leaked from the security services to pro-war bloggers, that's an open question. But it does seem tied into trying to drum up some kind of public emotion about what happened on Friday night. Now, it's, it's in, interesting that Dmitry Peskov, the Kremlin spokesman, refused to answer a question about the condition of the men when he was asked about that uh, in a briefing today.